A hoodie can either make you look great or extremely sloppy. And it all depends on what kind of hoodie you have. Everyone on the internet swears that they have found the perfect hoodie. So let's see what we could find. I've been doing research based on my personal experience. I have collected what I think could potentially be some of the best hoodies you could buy right now. So I moved over to the clothing rack to see if we could find the best hoodie. But before we get into the ones that I already own, let's go over some new recent pickups. First one being is from Elwood. Now this brand is underrated, but one thing that I noticed is that everybody that shops Elwood, they love this brand like no other. This is the wrong box. This one is from Elwood. Now look, hoodies can get very generic, so I like to look for brands that have slightly different altercations to their clothing. And Elwood is known for the crop look, which I find it pretty easy to achieve anyways if you just fold up the waistband, but these are supposed to sit in the natural position. So far, this one feels lighter than the rest. This one is in a vintage look, and it even says, expect minor imperfections as they are intended to make each piece special. All right, now it's time to try this on. Gonna be seeing how it fits on the body, how it feels. Right now it's the winter, and I need something as a good layering piece. All right, they were not lying about the cropped look. Now, it was honestly not too dramatic. I thought it was going to be extremely cropped, but for me, this actually fits perfect. It sits exactly where it's supposed to. My only complaint is I'm not the biggest fan of how the waistband looks. I think it looks good for the cuffs, but for the waistband, not really my style. Almost makes it look like it wants to be a sweater. But as far as the fit goes, perfect boxy look. The drop shoulder isn't too dramatic. It's exactly where I like it to be. This one does feel lighter than the rest. So if it's cold outside, I definitely recommend putting something on top of this just to make sure you're not taking any chances with that cold outside. But in comparison to the other brands for the price, I would say this one is perfect. Since I mentioned layering, I think the best piece for that is a workwear jacket. It's perfectly in line with the vintage look that the hoodie has on its own. So best recommendation is this Dickies workwear jacket. Pretty much goes with anything. The one that I opened by mistake is from Cole Buxton. Right now, this is one of the most popular clothing brands in men's fashion. It's even nice to see that they wrote my name on a card. Definitely gives it more of a sentimental feel, which is something that I always appreciate when it comes to clothing brands. So far, this one is heavier than the Elwood one, but it's about two or three times more the price. But first impressions, definitely seems like you're paying for the quality and definitely the craftsmanship. The embroidered logo feels very nice. Now it's try on time for Cole Buxton. In this entire video, every hoodie except this one follows the same silhouette and look, which is the most popular thing right now, which is a drop shoulder, no drawstrings, that kind of thing. But this one, does have drawstrings, but again, that's the whole reason why we're trying these on. All right, if I'm being honest, this completely passed any expectation that I had. I was afraid that I chose the wrong hoodie, but man, this definitely looks like a designer hoodie. Now keep in mind, I don't really know what's considered designer or not, but already one of the best hoodies that I've ever felt in my life. I'm not glazing, but keep in mind, this is all first impressions. That being said, it does come with a premium price tag, but I really don't have any complaints. So far, I love it. Now off the bat, one notice that I have is the hood is a little bit short. Now it's not a huge complaint. In fact, there's pros and cons to this so because it's short it's actually gonna look a lot nicer when it's down just because there's not too much fabric weighing it down that it's gonna look bad but if it is raining or whatever you have to do outside you're gonna have to scrunch it a lot the third brand is another one that's very popular right now let's talk about represent you could expect a lot from this brand from first glance it's heavier love the design the logo is printed but you don't really feel it which is a sign of good quality especially on the back i don't have many hoodies with graphics on the back and that's because when it comes to graphic i'm very picky but this one definitely stands out to me love the color love the graphic all right now let's see what represent has to offer i think out of all the hoodies that i've ordered i chose represent for my favorite color which is forest green the inside feels more of like that vintage wash so if you're looking for like a super soft hoodie but from what i noticed these kinds of hoodies are heavier so you gotta pick and choose which one you want although it's not as soft doesn't mean that it's uncomfortable but i do notice these kinds of hoodies typically look better as far as streetwear goes but man i love this now, everybody has their own preferences when it comes to hoodies. Some people like super boxy. They like an extensive drop shoulder. But for me, I like a good balance. Not too boxy, yet still oversized, comfortable, and looks great. Honestly, this is probably it. I could definitely see why I represent got its hype to begin with. Again, I love how the back looks. So it definitely feels more like a statement hoodie. And I don't know if it's just because of the brand or because how much I like how the hoodie feels. Not necessarily for flexing purposes, but it's almost like I want to show off the back just to have more of a statement piece. Now, when it comes to the wrists, some people don't like it too tight. I, however, am a fan. And this one definitely is tight. Overall, I am very happy with this purchase. Yes, it is expensive. Yes, there are more affordable options. But once you start to understand that the slightest differences makes a piece costs more and makes a piece that much more worth it then a piece like this is worth it but every time i talk about an expensive piece one thing that i really want to mention is you should never feel left out if you can't get these pieces there are plenty of affordable options that look almost just as good but considering price points some might be better overall and we're definitely going to be talking about a few of those now the whole snap thing i've never really understood the point of but if you're into that then this one has it the hood is actually pretty short but again who uses a hood to begin with anyways you're probably going to be seeing me wear this hoodie a lot as it's probably one of my new favorite 
favorite hoodies in my collection. Now those are the ones that I had to unbox. My most recent pickup aside from these is this one from Blanks by 13 Studios. I've been getting ads all over and they were kind enough to send this as a gift. This video is not sponsored by any of these brands. I'm not holding back from anything that I want to say. And by now you should know that the sponsorship doesn't change anything for me. If I like a company, I'm going to talk about it regardless of getting paid or not. But this hoodie in particular, I've had for about two weeks now. That's when I got the gift and so far have no complaints, but it is definitely heavier. I love the idea of blank hoodies with no logos just makes it easier to style and a lot less loud. But again, graphics are a good switch in pace and therefore the next hoodie definitely has a graphic. This was another gift that I received about two months ago. This one is an underrated brand called Illicit Block. This is another brand that represents luxury sportswear, which is a big trend. I definitely don't see this one dying off. And as of lately, has definitely been a trend that I have been loving. So this is one of the few hoodies that does have a graphic in the back. Illicit Block Running Club. I love the color. I love the vintage design of it. But so far, all has been well with this brand. I've had this one for some time now, and I've already gotten compliments with it. My favorite part is the faded brown color. This one is comfortable, cozy, genuinely one of my favorite hoodies. This brand is more on the pricey side as it falls into that luxury sportswear, which is an aesthetic that is very popular, and some might even consider it a fashion trend. So it definitely is one of my recommendations to play around with. Perfectly baggy, definitely has a lot of excess fabric, more so than the other ones that I've tried. That excess fabric is all intentional. And again, the logos, graphics, and it's a good way to make your hoodie stand out, especially the whole running club thing. I've gotten questions about it. So it's a nice little conversation starter if you're into that sort of thing. So if you're into micro brands and having more unique pieces that not a lot of your friends are gonna be wearing, then this is a good brand to check out. One hoodie brand that I always talk about is Hours Collection. This is the hoodie brand that I work with the most. And again, this video is not sponsored, but to this day, I find this brand to be extremely underrated. And everybody that I have put onto this brand also just goes head over heels this brand. Same way I did when I found this one. Some of the best colors, best looks. Now the reason why I'm talking up this brand in particular, because out of all the hoodies that I own, this is the one that I've been wearing the longest. So for example, there's about four brands that I'm trying for the first time. In all first impressions, they have been great, but it's gonna take a while to tell you how long I like it for the long term. Now look, this might sound a little weird, but have you ever had a piece that's treated you well? I swear, I'm not crazy. What I mean is having a piece that's reliable. Reliable in the sense that it always looks good. You can throw it on with anything in your wardrobe and it works. It's soft, comfortable, and it gets you compliments. For me, that's ours. This is the most affordable one out of this entire video. Let's be real. It looks amazing. I love the color palettes that ours has to offer. There's a reason why this is my favorite hoodie brand. Let me make that clear. In terms of overall price and quality included, that's exactly why I stand with this brand so much. But ours collection, I can tell you it's great long term, just like the next one, which is Abercrombie and Fitch. This is the oversized soft essential hoodie. I have this one in multiple different colors, but my favorite one lately is this one in an off-white color. And this one definitely is a classic. When these came out, these were everywhere. Everybody was talking that this hoodie is perfect. And that made it hard to get your hands on. But nowadays, there's a lot of hoodie brands out there. Let's be real, most of them look very similar. But that's exactly why I like blanks. They're not too different. They look great. And the best part, they're very easy to style. Look, you really can't go wrong with this one. There is nothing like a hoodie like this doesn't look good with, especially in this color. Super versatile. That being said, I have washed this one several times because I've had this for some time now. And if it's not obvious enough, it's been holding up nicely. So I have no complaints. Abercrombie is definitely a classic place that everyone should at least try. Now look, I've grown to be extremely picky with my hoodies. I definitely think you should as well. And especially right now that it's cold, all these hoodies are gonna be a great option. Sometimes it's a little too cold. And if you wanna know the best jacket to put on top of these, I have a video that's gonna show you exactly that. 